Let's have coffee. Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome to my channel on this lovely Tuesday. Today's video is not going to be a trans ed video, it is actually going to be the second installment of Let's Have Coffee. Let's Have Coffee is a series I started probably a couple months after I first started my channel and I made a video called Battle Scars Part 1. And today I just wanted to kind of expand upon that, retouch what I talked about in that video and, and kind of give an updated perspective. If you don't know that video or you don't know what I talked about that video, here's a warning right here for the rest of the video that I will be discussing serious topics such as self-harm and depression and mental illness and things like that. So if you're easily triggered by a discussion of those topics, I would recommend you click out of the video now. I don't want to have any issues with triggering anybody, so if you are easily sensitive to those topics, I'd recommend leaving. So today I wanted to talk about mental illness. And the first thing I wanted to talk about was me and mental illness. As some of you guys know, I have had a bad history with things like self-harm. And I did discuss this in my older video, but I feel like a lot of you probably didn't watch that because you weren't around at that time. At this point in my life, I am very, very happy to say that I'm well over a year clean. My one year was February 5th and I did make a video on that and it is amazing actually. I no longer feel the need to rely on self-destructive behaviors to get my emotions out and I feel like that's a very big accomplishment that I have achieved in the past two years. So now that I'm at that point, all of my scars, while still there, are fading and it's just nice to know that I've gotten past that really, really rough part in my life. Now on to like medication. I'm in full support of people taking medication when they need to, when they're prescribed medication. I take medication personally and something that I've learned recently is that medication tweaks can sometimes be really good. When I started seeing my new psychiatrist, she tweaked some of my meds and upped some doses and lowered some doses of the things that I was taking and it was the best decision she could have made. I have been on the same medication since April of last year and we haven't had to change any of it and that means that it's good and that it's working and that I'm on the right stuff. And if you're wondering what I take medication for, I will tell you right now. I'm diagnosed with severe anxiety and depression so I do take an antidepressant and I take Prozac for that. I also experience a certain level of psychosis and for my psychosis I take the antipsychotic that is Geodon. And both of those meds at the doses they're at right now for me have proved to work very, very well. But it took a long time to find the right combination of meds along with the right dosages to make me not a zombie, but also have the meds work with how they're supposed to work. The next thing I want to talk about specifically is depression. Something that I've started to do is practice a lot more self-care. So whether that be making sure I shower at least every other day, washing my face twice a day, just doing things that take care of myself, and things that put me first. Like having a relaxing night, drinking a cup of tea, and just chilling and vegging and listening to good music. Things like that can really help me recharge. Things like that have also helped me cope with like really difficult situations that have come up recently that haven't reverted me back to my destructive behaviors. So practicing self-care and coping kind of go hand in hand, at least they do for me, and it has been absolutely amazing. Ever since I started practicing self-care, I feel like I have had a new set of eyes open and I understand things a lot better and that I know to take care of myself. And one form of self-care that I have been absolutely practicing to help maintain my depression is managing a schedule. And by that, I literally mean managing a schedule. I feel like if you're in school and during the school time, it's a lot easier for people to like maintain a schedule or if you have a job that you have to go to, it's easier for you to maintain a schedule because then you wake up at a certain time, you should go to bed at a certain time, you know what you're doing throughout the day. Personally, I work from home, so I don't really have any Anyone telling me what or when to do it. So I started to set a schedule for myself where I go to bed at 11 p.m. at the latest and I get out of bed at 7. It is actually 8.37 right now, so it's 8.37 a.m. and I'm sitting here filming a video. That's what I mean by maintaining a schedule. Like, if you start to wake up at a good time and go to bed at a good time, I feel like you'll start to feel a lot better. At least that's how it was for me. And throughout the day, I have reminders set on my phone that remind me to do things that I have to do for work, 
just to relax, like reminding me to eat and things like that. And it has been really, really good for me. It has kept me on a good track. It has kept my mental health really well. I am a morning person and I always feel so much better when I wake up earlier in the morning and that's why I set my schedule for seven. If you set your schedule for eight or nine or even 10, I feel like you'll still have a good day because you're waking up before noon and things like that. So even if you're on summer break right now or you work from home kind of like I do, setting a schedule for yourself even when you're on break can be so helpful for like mental health. So that's kind of what I wanted to touch on today. I wanted to touch on my accomplishments with self-destructive behaviors, medication tweaks, and depression. I tried to keep this video a little bit lighthearted, but it is talking about a very serious topic that doesn't need to be joked about. So I hope I phrased it well enough so you could understand it without being hurt or offended. I really hope I didn't hurt or offend anyone. I really hope you enjoyed this little update slash advice video, this battle scar episode of Let's Have Coffee. And if you did, you can be sure to give the video a big thumbs up and comment down below. Did any of the stuff that I just said provide a little bit of advice for you or do you have any advice for others on coping and managing mental illness? I really look forward to reading and going through and responding to some of those comments down below. If you want to see my mental health life updates in real time, you can follow me on all of my social media, which is at the Riley Kyle. I do post updates on how I'm doing, if I'm feeling bad, if I'm feeling good, but I try not to keep it negative. So You'll just be able to tell when I'm doing good, when I'm doing bad. So if you follow me on like Snapchat and Twitter, you'll be able to see there. And if you like me a lot, you can also subscribe to this channel because I post two videos a week, one on Tuesdays and one on Thursdays, so that is two videos a week coming your way. I've also been doing a lot on my side channel and collab channel, and they are both linked in the description, so you can check those out if you would like. And that's all I've got to say, so I love you guys, and I will see you guys on Thursday, okay? Bye!